Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is DJ Joe Redhead, and you're watching Red All Over, my weekly vlog where I talk about news, current events, and geeky things that I enjoy. I want to tell you about the coolest thing I've seen recently, which is actually the movie, The Greatest Movie Ever Sold. Officially titled, Palm Wonderful Presents The Greatest Movie Ever Sold because the title itself was sold. So if you don't know what this is, this is Morgan Spurlock's new documentary. Uh, he's the same guy who did Super Size Me, where he ate only a Big Mac for a month. Pardon, I should say many, many Big Macs for a full month. He studies advertising and, and its placement in films and how it's almost impossible to make any sort of film these days without the revenue that comes from product placement. I ended up liking it a lot. I thought it was really meta, and I thought some of the humor was really good. Afterward, the boy and I had a fight talking about why the need for product placement is so great. Is it just greed? Or is it actually that we're secretly moving to a model of free media because of piracy? People are pirating movies, and now the only way for these movie studios to make any money is for Chevron to like pay them for it to be their gas station in the film. I don't know. Something funny I heard this week is that Tower Heist is actually the most pirated movie of the month. Who knew? That seems appropriate to me. On the other hand, if you're gonna pirate Tower Heist, like if, you're, if you want to watch Tower Heist, maybe you're not the type of person who was gonna pay anyway, and so does the system work? Just make sure there's enough like snack foods featured in the movie. All this talk of advertising kind of got me thinking about what my weaknesses are when it comes to advertising. Because for the most part, I think I'm pretty good. I don't run out and buy, well obviously cars. Like I don't know what else, what the big advertising things are, but there are a few weaknesses I have. I'm up at night, rolling quarters so I can buy more vitamin water. I'll buy, I'll spend any amount of money on food. And sometimes you actually surprise yourself. Right now I'm working on a shoe care document for, for a shoe company that I freelance for, and there's a section on taking care of exotic leathers, and I'm going through it and I'm like, ostrich leather, and like zebra leather, and I'm having all of these like fur is murder moments, but at the same time, I'll read one of the special leathers and all I wanna do is touch that. Ooh, how does that feel? I didn't even know they made stingray leather, um, but they do. They also make shark leather which is apparently very shimmery. Okay, so I've decided to start having segments because it seems to be what all the talk show hosts do and everyone seems to like the familiarity. Uh, and the first segment I'm gonna introduce is This Is My Idea. And so my idea this week is I want a book or TV show or like a play even, even though that's short, where over the course of the, of the story, you learn a new language. Organically, you reach the point where at the end of the book, the last chapter of the book is written in German, and you now understand German. Or, ready? Or it could be a made-up language. And I'm not talking like elves, but I think like, if there were twins that were born together and it's a nice story of their brotherhood and maybe they always had like a secret way of communicating, because this happens with twins. When I was growing up, there were some twins across the street. And, and the advertising campaign could just be the last page of the book and everyone in the subway would be like, what does that mean? And you wouldn't be, you wouldn't know because you hadn't read the book yet. To me, that's fascinating. Okay, I gotta get out of here. This is uh, a lovely Sunday morning and I've packed it full of, of uh, things and friends and <laughs> you're like, no, you don't have any friends. But I do, I really do. If you live in New York, enjoy the nice weather that March is giving us. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.